Greetings, YouTube. Um, this appears to be an egg. What it is, is a flashlight, and I'm going to tack in some uh, footage at the end of this, which will let you see what it looks like uh, in an illuminating, uh, sitting on my bed, because the, my bedroom is the darkest room in the house. Um, and I picked this up at, I think it was Home Depot, or it could have been Lowe's, could have been Lowe's, the Christmas season of 2013, I believe, um, and it was three bucks, and they came in a couple of different colors. My wife has one, too. Um, and it's a simple on off mechanism and it's kind of like a wee blow i mean it's it's a goofy little toy you put it down but it puts out some really nice even light um and one of the things that impressed me with it you pick it up it is ridiculously overbuilt i mean this has a really solid feel to it it's, I'm like, for $3, I was really impressed by this. Um, I have seen, I think it was at Bed Bath & Beyond, I have seen a version of this that looks like an actual egg, um, but they wanted 8 bucks for it, and I wasn't willing to spend $8 on another flashlight that looks just like this one, or very similar to this one. If I ever get a better deal on it, I may, uh, this one looks more like a, you know, like a large capsule of some variety you take for uh, cold or medicine. But, um... If I ever find one cheap, I might pick up the egg-shaped one, maybe a slightly different color. But I got a blue one. I think my wife got a red one. And they came almost like they were in silver and black or something like that. And they, they may come back next at, in in the Christmas season of 2014. I'm not positive. If they do, um, I may check out to see if they see if the build quality has changed any, because they were like no name. They were wrapped in plastic. A little bit of information on them. I didn't keep the packaging. Um. And I just think they're as cute as all get out. And I've actually used this as um, lighting one night in a video. I think it was. It was fairly dark, and I couldn't get to the my my supplemental light, which I have on my uh, my desk. So I just reached up and put this and put it like near, right, just under my chin for some up lighting. Um, and it worked relatively well because my cat was in the way. My cat is off anyway. But it's a nice even light. This this really does diffuse it nicely. Um, let me think if I see if I can. You got, so you do this, and it's a little more obnoxious. Um, and it's got six LEDs in there, which is which is impressive number of LEDs. I mean, it, I was really really impressed by the fact that they someone put this much effort into uh, to making this. Now on this side, it, uh, there we go. There we go. And then it's got coin style um, magnets with a. Uh, Two times CR2032 um, three volts. So there you go. And again, it's 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 relatively heavy. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing back together. There. there you go. You want to cross the threads. And again, nice even light. Now this isn't gonna be. This isn't waterproof at all. But if you had to get inside a cabinet or something, or you needed to look for something in, in, in a drawer or, or, or you know something like that, you could just easily take it with you and put it down. It'd be a great flashlight for kids. It's got a great feel to it. Um, you can, I mean, it's got a, a slight amount of actual playability, which is kind of funny um, for a flashlight. Most flashlights don't. Uh, simple mechanism, uh, on and off. So I think you can mess that up with. Um, and I just think it has a very friendly... Uh, almost cartoony style look to it, which I, I found very attractive when I picked it up. Um, so there you have it. This is an egg light, um, and I have seen models out there which are shaped just like eggs. So if you are interested in um, looking this out, I, I think I saw them at Bed Bath & Beyond, um, a place that I frequent, because they have a, an odd selection of occasionally useful gear, and really useful selections of uh, bedding and kitchen equipment and bathroom equipment. So I shop there for it frequent, fairly frequently, oddly. Um, I guess that's one of the prices of being a homeowner. But I think it's a cool little light, and I think other people might find it useful, and I think kids would love it. All right, we are in the bedroom again, because it is the darkest room in the house. You might be able to hear spam purring. And now we're going to show you the light that I just reviewed. Yep, there's spam. And this is the little egg light, as you can see, using spam as a, as a model. It actually puts out a fair amount of light, and it's got a nice even glow, um, and uh, not a lot of throw. I mean, here's my hand, you know, it gets out to 
there and it becomes a little hard to see but it's a cute little light and uh, it puts out some decent illumination and like I said I think it's be a, a cute little thing for a kid to play with or you know under a sink you need to look for something just makes a decent addition and I, again I only paid three dollars for it and that was uh, I think at Lowe's or Home Depot I can't remember which in the in the uh, Christmas season of 2013 look over there that's a Makana. I didn't notice him at first. He doesn't purr a whole lot. He's not around me. He's not a lot fond of me. He's Lara's cat. But there you go, folks. There's the little egg light I was talking about with uh, bonus, uh, bonus cat footage. Say bye!